In this video, let's understand how to create a user alert rule for a general user. The goal of this rule is to detect potentially risky behavior across the general population of users, such as lawyers, legal assistants, and other professionals. This rule will run continuously and trigger alerts when the following threat patterns are detected. Employees downloading hundreds of documents in a short time span. Employees viewing information across an abnormally high number of clients, matters, or engagements. Attacks involving stolen credentials. Let's now create a user alert rule. Give the rule a name. The scope is all users by default. Keep it unchanged. Keep Apply the Global Exclusion List enabled. This ensures that we segregate behavior of the general population of users from the behavior of privileged accounts like admin, IT, robot accounts, etc. Keep Ignore Group Thresholds disabled. The normal behavioral pattern of a typical user is displayed in the Mean column. The group threshold, which is statistically computed, is the point at which we raise alerts. Select Quick Analysis. The simulation shows you sample alerts that would have been raised if the rule ran last month. You can set when the rule must be run. Keep the default of Continuous. It means that the rule will run as soon as new audit data is imported from iManage Work. Set the period across which alerts should be generated when the rule is first run to seven days. Select your notification option, in this case, only when threats detected, and then high and above. Select the users you want notified when alerts of the selected severity are detected. Review the rule summary and activate the rule. The rule is created. As part of user alert rule creation in iManage Threat Manager, you have scoped the users on whom the rule must be run, ensured that the privileged accounts are excluded from monitoring, set the frequency at which the rule must be run, set the period across which the rule must be run, configured when alerts must be triggered, and included users who must be notified when alerts are triggered. 